Hey, what's going on folks? I'm Automatic. I wanted to make a quick video about this uh, level 3 from TN called Fe Farewell TN. A sacrificial, uh, you know, best friend. Every, t <laughs> Every time I see it, I can't help but laugh inappropriately. But I want to I wanna talk about how you can actually use this move and uh, how, like, what are the answers against it and uh you know in some reasons why you may or may not choose to do it because it is it does cost three bars it does have invincibility it is i think considered a grab motion but uh as you can see i'll, I'll show you if i program tm to do it and now oops i didn't do it there we go hey just duck under it <laughs> You know, you just duck under. Now, in the in the air, you can't duck, right? So you might wonder if you're in the air and you're stuck doing something, right? You can still vanish while you're in the air and you'll avoid uh, Chatsu, right? So as long as you're able to vanish in the moment, if you're you, if you're in the middle of doing a move, you're still able to vanish. You're fine against that. Uh, but if they don't have vanish available, I do think it will punish. So, so if they don't have any bars, it can potentially be a punish in the situation. Uh, but I think you really have to make it worth it because you do lose the Chaozu assist when you do this. So this hits them. I'm not able to do my uh, quarter circled back Chaozu assist anymore. It doesn't work. And this assist is quite valuable, I think. If you can find the right setup for it, it puts them in a considerable amount of hit stun and block stun. Uh, enough on the hit stun that you can actually jump forward and uh, get a get a jump in combo from there. Uh, so, if you compare it to his other level 3, the Neo, Neo Blast, I think it's called, it does 300 more damage. Uh, but it's not really worth it unless it's, it's like a guaranteed kill situation because you do lose that assist. And when you're comboing into it, it just marginally, it's going to be less than 300, um, 300 more damage. And with this level 3, you have the option, if you have more meter, to, um, to do more damage with the, um, the hits preceding it if you hold down the button. Uh, but that does spend one bar per hit. But, um, uh, uh, just to give you a situation where it might be worth considering, like a guarantee kind of thing. Uh, if someone like Frieza is in the air throwing a projectile, such as... Uh, maybe I should actually program this the other way. Tag it, there you go. Get in Tien. And I'll program Tien to do... Perfect. So now if I'm Frieza and I'm zoning, I'm using this move here. I actually can't vanish during the startup of it. So if Tien sees me in, that, in the middle of that motion, I can't vanish. That's a guaranteed punish. Uh, as far as I know. But that that seems like it needs to be worth it if you are if your back is against the wall. Tien is your last character, um, and now you've lost your assist mechanic. So you have to depend on something like your sparking and uh, your meters to do the level threes. Uh, so it's it's going to be a really a case by case case by case uh, judgment call. And I think that about wraps it up. It is invincible on startup, but as I demonstrated earlier, uh, let me see if I put back in Tien. I'm gonna program a block string to demonstrate the invincibility. So I'm putting a staggered hit in between each each of these hits, so I can't match the jab there. And between the second and third hits, between the second and third hits, I can't do anything. So let me demonstrate if I do the, the level three between the first and second hit. Might be a little tricky. We can do it! I believe, I believe. Have to reflect. Maybe the gap is a little bit too wide, but you know what I'm really trying to demonstrate here? If I go in between the low attack, they'll duck under it. They're in a crouching state so the Chatsu won't hit. It'll work for the standing attack. Uh, so what you really can, what you could do here, uh, if you were, if you were really into this decision, is wait until they exhaust their low attacks and then use the level three. But even in that case, it might just be better to use this level 3 instead. No, it might be slower. Maybe they might recover in time. But uh, I think that's about it. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like it's, it's hard to really implement. It's such a cool... <laughs> it's such a cool level 3. It gives me, uh, you know... Gives me a good laugh. It did such a good job of animating it. But that's it for now. I hope you learned something. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm Automatic.